What's up guys, Glav Challenger here again, and today I'm going to show you guys a new deck I've created. Um, so I'm going to start this series called Rogue Decks Series. Uh, we're going to use non-meta decks and try to go against some of the best decks in the format, um, in the standard format. Um, I don't know what the result's going to be, but I think I just hope to bring some fun to you guys. So I'm going to show you my Catterday deck. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of Catterday combos, but basically... Um, there is a Pokemon called Persian, and the ability is Gathering of Cats. Basically, if you have Pokemon that also have the Catterday attack, then as long as you have Persian in play, then you can ignore all energy cost um, in your attacks. So this would include the Meowth itself, although Tail Wap with 30 damage is not nothing to boost of, uh, boast of. Um, but then, the key to this deck is obviously um, Esper. So Esper is a 60 HP low Pokemon, uh, low HP Pokemon, but it has an attack called Ear Kinesis. So Ear Kinesis will help you do 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon for each damage counter on that Pokemon. So what that means is actually, um, let's say there's a GX Pokemon that has 270 HP. If you do 90 damage to it already, then once you use Ear Kinesis on, on him, then it does 180 and it knocks him out. So that's a pretty strong attack on its own. It needs free energy, but as always, because of the Persian Gathering of the Cats ability, you don't need any energy cost for that. Um, now you're going to ask, like, so how are you even going to put damage counters on the GXs, though? Right? This format is full of all these um, tag team GXs with 270, 280 HP. So what you need is actually something like um, Weezing. So Weezing will help you um, have the ability to tension gas, which you put one damage counter of each of your opponent's basic Pokemon between turns. So, because a lot of these Tag Team GX's Pokemons are basic Pokemon, you're basically going to be able to put a lot of damage counter on them between turns. Um, and then at the same time, as Splattering Stutch, Sludge, which also hits Bench Pokemon. And then you would need Spell Tag, because with Spell Tag, you would be able to put damage counters uh, on, on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like um, when the Psychic Pokemon is knocked out. So because I have a lot of Psychic Pokemon, that actually works in that favor. Now lastly, I also have Roxy. So Roxy helps you draw 6 cards in total if you discard 2 Pokemon. That is not GX. Now I don't have any GX in this, uh, in this deck, so you can discard any 2 Pokemon and get six, uh, get six, draw 6 cards. Um, at the same time though, Coughing and another Weezing, another different type of Weezing, has the ability to blow away Bomb, which means when you discard this Pokemon with the effect of Roxy drawing 6 cards or 3 cards, you may also put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. So this deck is full of all these different Pokemons and um, Pokemon 2 cards that will help put damage counters across uh, the entire opponent's bench and the active. And then you would use Esper to finish them off uh, with the Eukinesis attack. And obviously you may ask, what if they're in the active slot? Because Eukinesis can only hit bench Pokemon. That's why you would need another important piece of this deck, which is Fiona. Because Fiona has the ability to force your opponent to switch um, their active Pokemon with one of their bench. So I don't care what they switch in, as long as their active goes back to the bench, then your ear condition attack can hit. And then lastly, I checked in a, little, uh, a few Pokemon, which is a little bit risky to be honest. It, it lowers the consistency of the deck, but I feel um, to hit GXs, uh, it's worth it. I've tried it a few times uh, in my practice. It, sound, it, it feels like Gengar is actually a pretty good call in this one, because you're able to evolve Counter the Gengar, and then put 6 damage counters on your opponent's GX and EX in any way you like. So that will help you, you know, do a one turn knockout of the GX when needed. And I take in a Zangoose, uh, in case I need to hit the active. And I also have Make Them Pay Persian, to avoid um, large GX's deck from accumulating too many cards, especially with uh, Green's Exploration. Uh, and lastly, my energy count is pretty low in this deck. Um, it's actually only free recycle energy. So we'll see how we do. Um, I'll try to keep this video within 30 minutes. Uh, maybe play two matches or three matches depending on how it goes. So let's start with Catterday today. Although it's not Saturday. It is actually a Sunday here in Hong Kong. But let's see how we go. Okay, so I'm going against this fire deck. Pure fire deck. That is very strange. No Jiraichi, um, meaning it's not ability fire deck. It is probably a non-ability fire deck with Rishirim and Charizard Tag Team along with Volcanion. Uh, and he goes first. Um, this is not very good. Uh, and 
my draw is not exceptionally well as well. I've got only got one supporter, which is Tate and Lisa. And um, I did not get my Jiraiki from the start. No wheezing, uh, no coughing. Uh, and I hope my Gasly is not priced. Um, I do have Hunter and Gengar here. So it looks like, yes, he's um, Queen's Exploration deck. Um, makes me a little nervous. Um, but we'll have to do with it. We'll have to do with it. All right. So he's trying to do... He's definitely trying to do that welder on his turn two. Put a lot of fire energy inside. Draw four fire energy cards. I do have a reset stamp um, on my in my hand, um, which could um, prove useful. All right, Charizard Brayson. Once he gets his, you know, um, brilliant flare going on. Remember, brilliant flare. Uh, hit under an eighty, which would knock out all my Pokemon because I don't have large Pokemon HP. Uh, he can search another free cards, so that's not good. Um, good thing I draw, uh, like, you know, a coughing here. And, um, I'm thinking whether I should put, I should put, um, it is hard to decide. I should definitely reset stamp him. I don't want him to have the welder in his hands. Um, he might still get it, but might as well do it. Uh, so, I'll probably save my Esper, and then I'll just do a Tate and Lisa. Let's see what I get out <laughs> let's see what I get out of this. Oh, I draw Jiraichi. Um, actually, don't, but I could if I wanted to. Um, let's see. I can bet that he cannot knock out my Esper on turn two, um, which is possible, which is very possible, actually. So I'm going to put a Shrine of Punishment here, and um, I'm going to go for the Weezing on the turn two. Yeah, I'm going to click, click Done here, and then... I'm going to get my Weezing out on turn 2. So does he get a Welder in his hand? That's the question. He does not. So he gets Cynthia and Caitlyn. Draws back um, the Green's Exploration. So the reset stamp it was pretty important to kind of, you know, um, screw up his hand a little bit. Still not going to be easy. He does a Flare Starter. He gets free Fire Energies. So and next turn he can hit me for 110 already. Um, so it's going to be pretty important for me. Um, all right, I do get the wheezing already. Um, let's see. I do get the wheezing already. That's that's the thing. Um, there's no reason not to evolve it, to be honest. There's no reason not to evolve it. Now, I have to do Professor Oak setup. Um, let's see. I will probably get my Meowth out. It's pretty important. I get a Jiraichi out just because I need um I, I I do need a supporter. And I'll probably get Ghastly out because I know I have Haunter and Gengar already in my in my in my deck and not in the prizes. So let's do this. And I I might also want to stream um Weezing unless I don't think he can kill me on turn two. Uh, that that is possible, that's possible. So let's let's keep a degree of freedom here, maybe, um, because my plan was to get mysterious treasure out and then get the get the coffin, get the coffin. The problem is um, if I get the coffin, uh, like that's a little bit risky to have a, such a low hand. So I'm gonna bet he cannot knock out my wheezing on turn two. Otherwise, I would just use um, Jiraichi to draw my next support. So let's end that. Um, I'm, I'm putting some damage counters on him already. So we'll see how that goes. I hope he does not draw a... So he does have a welder though. That's not good. That's not good. He does have a welder on his hand. Um, let's see if he gets another fire energy to switch. He probably has it. it it's very likely. If he doesn't, it'll be... I, I catch a really lucky break if, if he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't! Um... So I do catch a, a pretty lucky brick on here. Um, I am accumulating quite a lot of damage on his Shriam and Charizard already. My Weezing is going to be too late to uh, uh, put the, the energy on. Um, it, is, it is a tough choice. It is a tough choice. I actually have nothing really great to do, to be honest. Because um, I... I don't have any supporter. 
Can I bet he doesn't have, you know, the fire energy on the next turn? I think that's that's very wishful thinking, to be honest. Um, but I don't have anything better to do right here. In fact, I don't. I don't have anything that can immediately get something good. All right, then I'm gonna I'm gonna put um put one energy there, you know, and we'll see. We'll see what he does. He does the greens exploration. He has a great potion and a switch. That's not good. Um, he does have 60 damage on that other Charizard already. It's going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. Because with Brilliant Flare, he's going to be able to continuously get what he wants. Um... And that hurts me a lot. I'm saying, like, and I do mean a lot. That hurts me a lot. Um, I have to get one of his Pokemon down, like, immediately almost. Um, Alright, well, we're gonna still going to put your Aichi. Let's see. Let's see what I go into. I do have a spell tag. I do have a spell tag. He's probably going to have some sort of uh, custom catcher shenanigans. Um, so that is not good, man. That is not good. I can... I can risk the biscuit and go for a stellar wish. But then I, I may not be able to, to retreat. That's a problem. That's a problem. Um, should I go for damage? Okay, let's not go over damage. Um, okay. Alright. So I get this Pokemon here. Um, Alright. So I'm gonna... So... I'll probably need something like... Another coughing. Should I get another coughing? Um... No. All right. We put another meowth. Um. And then I am going to. I'm going to put up a spell tag. And. Uh, And that's all. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. This is not good. This is not good for me. Another choice helmet. What's that? Draw energy. What? That's so weird. Did he like intentionally try to get a draw energy? Or is that a weak weakness energy? No, it's a it's a draw energy. <coughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what he wants to do. Um, I don't know what he wants to do. It seems very weird. I need to reset stamp him. I really need to. I really need to. He makes a switch. Wow. Okay. Okay, that is weird. Um, alright, so I'm gonna get the... I'm gonna get the Meowth out. Yeah. I'll need the Meowth. Get the Meowth out, and then... I don't have a supporter, that's the problem. Um, yeah, that's a problem. I think he has, you know... He has a lot of good stuff in his hands already. Um... Maybe I can make him pay. Yeah, that, maybe that's a good idea. So, I'll do make him pay. Um, I'll make him pay. And discard like his hand. Get all those custom catcher out of the way. I can't believe it. He did not even... He did not even... Grab a custom catcher. That is like... 
That is crazy. I, I, I just cannot believe it. I just cannot believe he did not throw a custom catcher away. I'm just gonna, you know, kill all his cards. I don't even know what to do. Uh oh, this is not this is not good, guys. This is not good, guys. I did not expect he did not draw any custom catcher out. Like, why would he not do? Well, maybe he just drew a supporter. And and then see what happens, and then and then decide. I I need the Roxy soon. Like, if I don't get a Roxy, this is gonna end really bad for me. This is gonna end like real quick for me. I, I need that Roxy, man. I I need the Roxy. He got he's got to give me the Roxy. Oh no, Guzman Hala, what the? It's not good at all. Um. All right, Guzman Hala. Um, I'm gonna search a Pokemon two card. Um. Did I get it? Yeah, I mean, just go get it, right? Um, I'm gonna throw two, two away, throw two away, and get another two, right? Yeah, I mean, just to fin my deck. It's not my only hope, right? It's my only hope. It's my only hope. Um, it's actually my only hope. Um, okay. My only hope here, um, I need to get a Persian. I need to get a Persian. Like, I, I need a Pokemon communication or Persian. Um, my next turn, or else I am done. I'm basically done. Mellow and Lana. What the? Gosh. It's no good. Wow, he reset stamps me. Like now, when I have a bat draw, he's gonna regret this. Big time. I'm talking about big time. Maybe I do have a chance now. Okay, maybe I do have a chance. Come on, hit me, hit me. Hit me. Yes. Yes. Alright. Um so I'm gonna put four twenty damage on this guy. I'm gonna put Four on this guy. No, actually, I played wrong, probably. Um, but anyhow, uh, I should have spread it a little bit better. I should have spread it a little bit better. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see. Maybe I still have a chance. Maybe I still have a chance. Yeah, I should have spread it a little bit better, but that's fine. Um, do the link search first. Uh, don't forget to do it. Um, let's see. Let's see. I definitely need a Pokemon. Okay, wait. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Tell me. Um, I am going to do Roxy, um, and I'm going to throw away these two here. Get six cards. I do get my Persian, and oh man. I'm gonna reset stamp him. And we set stamp him. Um, because I don't have no, I'm gonna not rely on Ritsen Goose. I'm just gonna reset stamp him. I'm gonna Roxy another. Hope I get the Gengar. Um, Mysterious Treasure. Um Throw away the Roxy. Get that Gengar out. Get that Gengar out. Evolve. Um, and then put six damage counters on its Pokemon. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, put six on its damage counter. Um, get this Esper out. I'm gonna force him to hit my other Esper, which has a spell tag. I'm gonna put my Fion here, and I'm gonna save. I'm gonna Lana's fishing rod. Um, 
save a coughing and a spell tag. And then I am going to Eokinesis, um, one of that Restream and Charizard for free prizes. And depending on his hand, if he has Custom Catcher out or Queen's Exploration, and grab my, um, and grab my Persian out, then let's call it game. Um, unfortunately, um, but if he doesn't, then we're good. Oh, he has it. He has it. He has it. He has it. It is unfortunate. Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> this guy doesn't even run um, custom catcher for some reason on on a no ability Charizard and Reshiram deck. I do not know why. It's way too late for him to um, to um, to reset stamp me anyway. Um, unless he does nothing. He can't do nothing because I'm going to hit his Charizard on the bench anyway. Um, switching is no use because I unless he draws, you know, a Mellow and Lana, but the thing is he doesn't. Um, so it's game, basically. Um, Alright, so that's a great comeback. Um, he doesn't have Custom Catcher to get my Persian out at the last minute. Um, that was really close. So he knows he's going to lose. He already scored um, forfeit. So that's a pretty good start, um, as per doing the damage, getting a great comeback against this deck. But I'm just, I'm just surprised he did not run Custom Catcher um, on, on this deck. I mean, if you run Green's Exploration, you would always almost run it, but I don't know why. Anyway, I'll take the win. I was talking too much, forgot to see what this deck is about. Fair night. Um, Alright, we'll see. He has a Dark Energy... Um, box it might be um dark toolbox weave out gx that sort of uh shenanigan um looks like i have to start with meow so this is actually not the worst draw ever um it is acceptable at least you got support of cards and you got a professor oaks set up there and we can draw whatever we want uh depending on what his deck is so let's see all right so it is very likely what i just talked about um, I'm probably not gonna retreat and get my Dragon there. I could if I use Guzman Hala, but um, let's get Fiona on the bench. Um, should I? So coughing is definitely there. Maybe to be safe this time, I need two meow. You know what I mean? Like, just just playing safe. Um, just playing safe is actually a good idea here. It could be a good idea here. Yeah. Alright, so let's do this. Yes, let's play safe. Get two meow to avoid the situation that we just talked about. Who knows if you run custom catcher on, on this deck. Although, I think it's a low chance. I've got nothing else to do actually. Alright, so let's see. Um, I can go on with wheezing right on the next turn. Um, to start putting, you know, damage counters on his basic Pokemons, which is going to be really critical um, from the start. So, strategy of this deck, you got to put Weezing out there right from the start to pu put damage counters. And if you're lucky enough to get Roxy and those um, coughings um, in your hand as well, don't be afraid to, you know, spend on them. And then if you really need Weezing and coughing at the end of the game, just, just use Lana's Fishing Mod. I did put two. Uh, all right, Spit Poison. He didn't seem to have a good draw though. Like I got a little bit lucky here. All he did was the Pokemon communication. Um, so I am going to put um, the Shrine of Punishment. I am going to evolve so that I can retreat. Good thing about Persian is it has zero retreat cost. Um, the thing is, I'm going to miss my Weezing now though, right? I'm going to miss my Weezing. I'm gonna miss my wheezing. That's a problem. That's a problem. Um. Should I Roxy or should I go for? I don't know. It is a little bit tricky here. It's a little bit tricky here. Um. All right. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play differently this time. Let's, you know, sacrifice that Roxy. Just try, I mean. 
Um, hope I get a good draw on the next turn. Um, get the uh, escape board out, get another one, and then get um, recycle energy here. Reason for this is, you know, I kind of... I kind of hope he does not... Um, he does not already... Like, depending on... Like, his draw looks really bad, right? So, I was hoping... I was hoping, like, he would... He wouldn't be able to do much. Although, like, I got a dead draw here. Maybe that's not the best play. Maybe I should rock seed first. I don't know. Maybe I should rock seed first. Yeah, I should rock seed first. Because immediately he can, you know, if he gets a Natagando in place, then, then my weaving is done. Super scoop up, what? Yeah, this is no good. This is no good. I didn't play well enough on this one. It's my bad. It's my bad. Yeah. Well, after actually waiting in the back end, hopefully I don't try Roxy. If I do, that's going to be bad. But even so, I could attack with Meowth, I guess. Yeah, I should have Roxied. I should have Roxied, played it safe, you know. Played it safe a little bit better first. Might have been better. Um, what did he draw on, like, with the tag call? I forgot. So, he used the tag call to draw red and blue and a megalopony. So, it means he has megalopony on his hand right now, definitely. Okay, he's going to try to do what? He's going to try to do... Dark Moon on me. Are you kidding me? Is he going to do that? Or is he going to just spit poison me? So he has a bad hand. That's definitely it. Um, he has a red and blue. He has free energies. He has a megalopony on his hand. I caught a big, big brick here. But I'm dead draw as well. So I'm not much better. I, I do have something set up a little bit better. Slightly. You know, let's see what he does. He's gonna pick I mean, he's not gonna use Dark Moon on a Weezing, right? You gotta be kidding me. So if I draw like an energy, that would be awesome. No, Cynthia's would, would be best. Damn, okay, Persian. Um, Persian. Persian's no good. Persian's no good, I've got nothing to do. Believe it or not, I have nothing to do. Yeah, I've got nothing to do. At least I draw a Pokemon. Alright, let's see what he draws. He has a Megalopony and another card. And a Dark Energy, that's all. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna knock me out. Good choice. Um, good choice. Um, good choice, but I'd be able, I'd be able to knock his, uh, you know, Umbreon out, maybe. So he draws another card. Get a Jiraichi there. Damage is accumulating. Um, alright, alright, Pokemon Communication. I could hit 140 on his, um, on that guy. So, no. I'm gonna, of course, get my Cynthia out. Probably much, you know, much more important. Um, let's see, um, um, this guy probably doesn't even run, you know, custom catchers. I'm just thinking, you know. Um, let's get, let's see how many as. Oh, 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 do I have a ghastly though? I do have a ghastly though. I do have a ghastly, and all the haunters are there as well. You know, maybe I should pull out the ghastly. Yeah, maybe I should pull out the ghastly. Let's let's pull the ghastly first. Um, and then the energy, let's just put it in the fion, in case I need it back. Um, 
Let's put on the Theo in case I need it back, and I'm just going to Cynthia. All right, great, great. This is what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted was the spell tag. Um, okay, I'm caught at an end here. So the good thing about this is, you know, he knows if he hits my Ghastly, he's going to eat 40, right? He's going to eat 40. Um, he can, you know, he can choose not to attack me, of course, which he doesn't, right? But I'm just saying, like, if he doesn't, then the Shrine of Punishment will, will keep on accumulating, right? So 40 damage here. I'm just going to put, just going to put 10 on this guy because I can finish him off next turn. And I'm going to put, um... I'm gonna put 20 on this guy and then put 10 over there. That's enough to, you know, to sweep his entire team already. Uh, so let's get the Haunter um, into the bench. Um, put the Jiraichi out. Good thing I do have com Pokemon communication here. Um, so to be safe, you know, to be safe. I am going to get my second Persian out uh, when I need it. Because you just don't know what's going to happen, right? So play it safe. Um, Jiraichi Stellarish. Uh, reset Stamp. I don't need that. Uh, let's get Mysterious you know, Treasure out. Because you need that second Esper. Always. Um, and then let's do Caitlyn. Um, I don't need the Marsh at all. Get back. Um, well, I don't need any more damage. I just need draw power. Let's get the Cynthia back. All right, hooray! I, I do get the Gengar here, but like, do I need it right now? Maybe I don't. Um, maybe I should finish off as Wee Foul first. Maybe that's better. Yeah. So let's let's finish off as Weavile first. So let's finish off as Weavile first. Um, uh, you know, so that he can't move energy around that easily, and then finish off as Umbreon next. That that that'll be um, the strategy here. Right. I mean, the optimal is obviously if I get a spell attack on the Esper as well. That would totally drive his drive him nuts. Now the only thing I'm afraid is like some sort of reset stamp. Um, it's not the end of the world. I still got Jiraichi here. Um, let's see. I do need something to kill off its final Pokemon though. You, you get what I mean? Like once he gets down to one Pokemon, I can't switch him around. That's a problem, right? And if I can't switch him around... Oh, he does have a reset step. What the? Yeah, once I can't switch him around, it's, that's not going to be good. Uh, Black Lance. All right. All right. This is going to be tricky. It's not going to be easy. Um, so I am going to Jiraichi first. Roxy. Hmm. Should I Roxy? That's that's the question. No, actually, I should I should get the spell tag. Spell tag's a little bit, you know, a little bit more um, important here. It's a little bit more important here, um, and I'm gonna force a switch here. Let's force a switch. Get the energy back. Um, and if I get a wheezing and uh, recycle energy, I can probably finish him off, right? The only thing I'm scared about is what if I don't have any wheezing back, you know, in my deck? Then this is going to be bad, right? It's an Ultra Beast. This guy's an Ultra Beast. Um, Alright. I, I guess... 
I'll just still play it. I don't know, man. I, I, I gotta still play it, right? Um, shove my hand. Let's get five cards out. Maybe get in that Meowth and hit him for 50, I guess. Is that another Weezing? No, I don't. Um, let's retreat. Well, the other Weezing could be over there. Um, in the prize, right? In the prize, that could be possible. Just see, like, I'm not out of the woods yet, I can tell you. This kind of easy. I need like a Meowth to just finish this guy off, man. Gosh. It's like... I don't even know. <laughs> if I lose this, it's gonna be funny, man. It's gonna be funny. What? What is he doing? Why would he still put another Pokemon down? He knows I can switch him around and then just finish him off. Right? That, that was... Weird of him to do so. I don't know why he did that. Now, now I'm like almost guarantee a win because he put down so many Pokemons. Unless he reset stamp me. That's the only thing, yeah. Unless he reset stamps me. Um, but yeah. Now he has no way of winning. I, I think his only way of winning was actually just, you know, having the only Pokemon left. So now I can, you know, just... I don't know, just... Just put 40 on the Popo, right? On the Popo, and then... And I'm gonna just do Jiraichi. And, um... I'm just gonna put another Esper down. And it's done. Right? Did I make a mistake? No? Nope. It's done. Alright, that's, uh, that's the second game. How many minutes did I take? I don't know. Seems like pretty good. Um, let's, let's do a final battle then. Let's just do a final battle. Um, I've actually won seven in a row in, um, with this deck. Um, not to brag or anything, but, you know, maybe I just, you know, there are some misplays on my opponent, and there's some weird decks going on, so we'll see. Um, Streak has to end somewhere. That usually happens. This guy's a Water, Psychic, Dark, and Colorless. So I'm guessing, is it... I don't know what deck is it. Quaxire, maybe? Quaxar? I don't know. Um, <coughs> this is a question though. Should I put Mew out? Or should I put Marshadow out? Um, let's put Mew out. Let's put Mew out. It's another Weefile deck. Okay. And he goes first. What? He just stops there. He just stops right there. Does nothing. Hmm. Does nothing. Okay, I'm gonna do Pokemon my arms lecture. Um Okay, let's important thing, let's see if the Haunter and the Gengar no, the Gengar is in the price. Is in the price. So I have to focus on I have to focus on getting Getting some Pokemon down. Um, I need the Jiraichi though. I need the Jiraichi in order to avoid avoid that draw. Um, all right, let's get the Jiraichi out. Let's get the Jiraichi out. Um, is he going to knock down? Is he going to knock me down, like, immediately next turn? He probably has a red and blue in his hand. That's how he's not doing anything. I bet you he has this. So I'm going to put a spell tag here. Alright, let's put a spell tag here. What I've learned with using this deck is, you cannot sacrifice Jiraichi easily because... You basically need that as your draw engine. What? Agility? He has a dead draw? Oh, man. Now. I mean, now I'm, like, regretting. Well, okay. Damn. This is bad. This is bad. You know, should I wait? Should I wait? That's the question. Should I wait? Should I wait? Uh, let's not wait. Roxy. 
Roxy, um, oh, nothing to do as well still. All right, I have nothing to do. That's a problem with not, you know, running the escape board on the Mew. Um, uh oh, let's see. He's gathering all these cards, still not doing anything, and I'm missing all my chance to put damage counters on him with my wheezing. Oh my god. Oh man. You know what? You know, I should I should actually switch. I should switch. I should switch. Um draw another um a reset stamp. Oh man, it's like the last thing I need right now. Um, so I'm gonna sacrifice that. Let's sacrifice that. Uh, good thing I do have the second wheezing. Should have checked. Check two Esper. Two Esper. Okay. All right. Let's see my energy count. I do have two Shrine of Punishment. I do have free energy here, and I do have the Link Search. Link Search is really important to come back from games. Um, all right. Well, I'm just gonna. Well, I'm just gonna put damage counters on him. That's my only hope. Uh, I should have done that earlier. Just hope he dead draws all the way. Dead draws all the way, man. Looks like it. I mean, he's not drawing his red and blue. I mean, once he's getting red and blue, then he's out of the woods, man. He's out of the woods. Let's gonna see. I just gotta see. Switch. Okay. What can he do? Though? Ambush me? Alright, ambush me. Fine. That's fine with me. I don't care. It's not gonna hit me, hit me much. What I need is to, you know, start accumulating damage on him. Uh, well, I'm not gonna put that down. I'm just gonna do nothing. Because I, I can do nothing as well. You know, I'm just getting really lucky here. Like, I'm in a pretty dead draw situation as well. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. He has nothing. He has nothing. He has nothing. He has nothing. I'm accumulating damage on these guys. Can I get a Cynthia? Yes, I do get a Cynthia. Great, great, great. Um, let's see. Weezing already has what he needs, so I'm not going to do anything. Well, I am going to evolve that Haunter. Um, put this here. That's all. That's all. Accumulate that energy. He's going to forfeit if he doesn't get a good draw this turn. I mean, he just got really unlucky, I guess. Maybe. Okay, no, he got a Cherish Ball. Okay, finally, he gets a Cherish Ball. What is he going to do? He's going to do Savali <coughs> to get the draw power. That's the right play. That's the right play. Um, I don't need Persian. He's going to retreat this guy. There's all these escape boards. He's going to put the Umbreon down. The question is, can he draw his Weavow GX? Oh, he forfeits. He didn't get it. Well, looks like that's free wins for me. I'm going to end it here today. Um, I don't know if it's 30 minutes yet. Um, but it looks like um, I got on a little bit of a roll. Um, got quite lucky um, with the opponent. Drawn pretty bad on the last um, on the last uh, game, but welcome any com <laughs> comments. If you really want a deck list, um, leave a comment. Um, we'll see how we can connect. But otherwise, um, feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Tell me what I could have done better, or uh, what kind of decks you want. We want to see going forward. I do have quite a lot of rogue decks here. Uh, I'm gonna you know put some videos out on those. Um, I've got one with you know Matras Arakudo. Uh, Zapdos, got one with Toxapex, with Stunfisk, with Steelix, and a bunch of weird stuff. So, um, this is Glaf Challenger. Uh, this is my channel. Hope you like it. Um, and see you again soon. Bye.